morning everybody welcome back to the Firefly Studio 67 this is Gina I want to welcome you guys back today I've got um, some more entries for the friendship journal to share with you and I'm gonna start with Took's craft table you guys all know Took um, she participated in this and I'm so grateful Took that that you um, that you wanted to join because I love Took's uh, work I'll put her link to her channel in the description box. Um, just in case you haven't um, found her yet, please check her out. So hers came packaged up in a beautiful napkin. I don't have anything like this, so this is really appreciated. Um, took because that is beautiful, and I will make use of that for sure. <clears throat> so let's go inside. Oh, beautiful uh, page here. She's done some decoupage. I love that on the back. A lot of different trims and, and laces here. She does a lot of collaging in her work, which is just beautiful. And I'll give you a, um, a close-up there. Look at all the layering that's gone on. And those are tiny, tiny little tags. Just gorgeous. And she knows I love turquoise, so thank you so much for putting that on there. Look at that tag. That is absolutely gorgeous. Purple. Got the B. <laughs> Took you know me. And I love that paper. That's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. So this is a little tuck spot here. And then she's created this beautiful journal card. Love that. And then it, she's backed it with the Edith Holden uh, book page. So that gives me some space. I can do some writing there. And then this... Like I said, she's done the decoupage there, and then it feels like maybe she's gessoed on top of that, and then that's all been put on either tea or coffee dyed paper. And all the collaging is just gorgeous. Thank you, Took. That is so kind of you. <clears throat> Again, I will apologize, guys. I've still got a bit of a scratchy throat going on, so I'm going to try to keep it down, you know, the coughing down as much as I can. Love this. Oh, she's put a beautiful little uh, stamp from Canada. Oh, I love those little touches. And look at that. Beautiful. Again, she does a lot of layering. Look at her stitching over here. She's put her little um, craft label, Handmade with Love from Took's Craft Table. That's beautiful. And then here, she knows I love window pockets. So look at that beautiful tag she's created there. And that's all been fussy cut out. And she's even backed that with bits of fabric. So that is a gorgeous tag. Really pretty took. And then she's she's written me a really nice little note. And I appreciate that so much. That's really, really nice. And again, she's got a beautiful little tuck spot here. Some collaging. And it does feel like that's been gessoed there. So that fits in there. That is just perfect because now when I look back, I'll know that this was Took's creation. And then here she's got the slotted stitch um, little die cut. And look at all of the beautiful tags. Those are gorgeous images. Just beautiful. I love all the uh, botanicals in this. And again, another gorgeous tag. I don't have one like that. I love that tag. Gosh, she's filled it up with ephemera. This is beautiful. Oh, those are so... That's original. Oh, that's beautiful. Huh. That is so, so nice. And then these look like they're uh, digital images. Just gorgeous. Took. Thank you, thank you, thank you. tucked in and then I'll we'll carry on. I've got a few uh, entries to share with you guys today and I may have to break it up again into two parts. We'll see how it goes. But this is nice because this is again the layering and so that flips over and then in here look at she's got this has all been embossed. I love that because I love to have the texture. <coughs> Excuse me. This is old piano uh, roll paper. 
and then an inventory tag and then another shipping tag. Love those because those are rare for us to get our hands on over here. And again, two more beautiful tags here. So plenty of place for me to do some writing in here. And then back here she's got a nice pocket on the back and this beautiful journal card. And look at that. That is a gorgeous um, stamp. 1989 from Minnesota. Ooh, I love that. Beautiful. And again, lots of collaging going on back here. Decoupage. And then lots of bits of trims and buttons. Oh, it's just beautiful, Took. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate all of you. Um, because I know what an effort it is to have to ship internationally. You, you know, especially if, you, if you're not accustomed to doing it. It's, it's a lot of work. And I do so appreciate it. Um, for all of you. I mean, I appreciate all the entries, but particularly those of you who have had to go into the post office and uh, and fill out that customs form. It's a nightmare, but I it is very much appreciated, guys. So the next entry, this is Susanna Easdale. Now you know Susanna. She's got a YouTube channel, um, and I'm going to put her link in the um, description box so that you can check t check her channel out. And she's written me a beautiful little um, note, and she's included this koala button. Isn't that adorable? So I will definitely make use of that. So here we go, and Susanna has spoiled me. You did not need to do this, Susanna, but oh my gosh, it is absolutely beautiful. Look at this fabric she's included. This is beautiful. It's got bits of um, gold, you know, thread through that. And look at the colors. Just fabulous. That is stunning material. Thank you so much, Susan. <clears throat> and then she's included these beautiful uh, doilies. Aren't those nice? absolutely love those thank you so much and look at all of this material and you know it's this is just amazing because I've got the paper pack that um, that coordinates with this this is Tim Holtz um, fabric and I've got the paper pack that goes with that and I've kind of just been I made one journal with it and the rest of it's just been sitting because I really didn't have anything to go with it. So Susanna, this is so appreciated. Look at that. Just beautiful. Uh, if if you're familiar with Tim Holtz, you'll recognize. I can't off at the top of my head think of the the pack, but um, it is beautiful. And look at all of these gorgeous fabrics. Oh, wow. Just gorgeous so that's going to have to be in the future works absolutely I haven't seen all these designs I got to be honest this is um, the place that I source mine from they don't have a great selection so this is amazing I really love it and that's beautiful very vintage correspondence isn't that beautiful? Oh, Susanna, thank you so much. Like I said, you honestly did not need to do that, but it, it will certainly be used. <laughs> and look at this. This is just beautiful. Look at that uh, hanky with the G and the colors. Just beautiful. Really soft lilac. And then she's backed it on you know onto a card here and that's all been tucked into this little bag that is gorgeous Susanna thank you so much really thoughtful of you to do that I'm going to have to add this to my vintage uh, linen collection <laughs> so this is Susanna's entry and it is absolutely beautiful um, a lot of layers going on here she's got um, It looks like avocado dyed paper that's been stenciled. Then she's come back with more paper, music paper. And then these flowers are absolutely beautiful. And 
the work that has gone into those because she's even come back with those the white marker and she's put in more detail it's just a beautiful beautiful journal card inked around that stitched it more fabric here um, uh, crochet doily and then look at that absolutely gorgeous tag and again, you can see the background. The colors are just beautiful. And again, on the pocket, look at the work that has gone in. That is just beautiful, Susanna. I love it. This is totally me. And over here, she's got a big, beautiful pocket here with some lace, some more um, flower. Um, this is, uh, I don't know the material, but it's, it's not fabric. But it's not paper. Um, and then she's fussy cut that image. That's just gorgeous. And then here, look at that. That must be out of an old book page. And she's backed all that and made a beautiful uh, journal card out of that. That image is gorgeous. Yeah, I've really been inspired, ladies. Um, here's her card. Wonderful. Vintage Blend Studio. Susanna Easdale. So there you go, guys. That's her channel, and she does beautiful things. Look at that little pocket. That is just beautiful. And then she's got... Tuck that back in there. She's got this beautiful, um, like a bookmark that she's fussy cut around. That is gorgeous. And that all tucks in behind. And then that is a beautiful fussy cut. It's a little book page. Isn't that image gorgeous? Oh, I tell you, there are some beautiful, <clears throat> beautiful images. Look at this bit of fabric she's got there. That is so pretty. That's got all the colors I love. Teal, green, purple. <laughs> I don't know how she managed to find them all, but that is amazing fabric. And then on the back here, another big, beautiful pocket. More fussy cutting. And then look at this beautiful little little envelope. That is just gorgeous. Uh, Susanna, thank you so much. It's just so, so thoughtful of you to have participated and sent sent all of this to me. I, I really will uh, put it to good use and I cannot wait to see this journal completed, guys. I'm just getting so excited about it. Okay, let me gather everything up so you guys don't have to wait. Um, the next one comes all the way from Minnesota. And you guys know it's Nikki Ad Adgun. She's on YouTube here. If you have not checked out Nikki, shame on you. You need to go over to her. She's um, sent this beautiful entry to me. <clears throat> and this was all wrapped up. And look at that beautiful flower. A lot of different layers of some... Um, uh, looks like a crochet doily type thing and then a burlap flower all of this and then this, she's even stitched that in there that is gorgeous and look at her beautiful um, card here and uh, she's fussy cut that and that is just such a sweet um, this is this is Nikki's information and her Etsy shop is Musings by Nikki but I will put her YouTube channel in the description box you guys check her out because Nikki does um, not only amazing journals, she does digital um, kits as well. And I will be sharing very soon a um, project that I used. Um, oh, this is beautiful. Um, that I made using one of Nikki's uh, digital kits. And I'll explain more about that in that video. So look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Okay, so these images she has printed onto vellum and then has come back and, and stitched all of that onto cardstock and made these absolutely beautiful journal cards. Look at those. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. And this, she's got some really pale green burlap. Oh, I love that. I'm going to have to try to source that when I get back. And then again in this pocket, look at this is Edith Holden pages and then more um, little um, 
labels that she's added. But these are just beautiful on that vellum. Absolutely gorgeous. And then again, inside of these, some more paper. I can do some writing. Look at that back there. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, Nikki. I appreciate it so very much because she's a very, very busy woman. She's got uh, children. She works. She designs. She does it all. She's amazing. <laughs> and then here, look at these beautiful, beautiful tags. And I love the tabs being added to that. That is gorgeous. And look at this. She's added these charms with the owl and the leaf. That's beautiful on a bulb pin. So pretty, Nikki. She, um, I give credit to Nikki. Um, I genuinely believe she really started the whole interactive um, journaling that I found. Now, maybe other people have been doing it, but Nikki's the one that really uh, inspired me to start adding more of the flips and tucks because um, she does a lot of that, and it's just her work is phenomenal. Um, so I, I actually, she's kind of like the the interactive queen. You know, I've got queens every, you know, I, I name everybody all these things. <laughs> and that's what Nikki, that's in my mind when I think of Nikki, I'm like, oh yeah, she's the, the flip woman and all the little tuck places. And this is another beautiful journal card and that's been tucked into a um, envelope here. Absolutely beautiful. Now these are Nikki's, um, she does these definition rip strips, and those are such a great idea. And she does them, you know, relating to nature, and then I think she's got some inspirational. But um, these are so nice because you can print those out. I first time I did it, I printed them on cardstock, but you really want to print those on paper. And then you can just tear them like you can see how she's done here. And then look at how she's layered the die cuts on top of that, added another label. It, it's she, beautiful work, Nikki. Another big beautiful tag, and I love that. Look at that, that's like a tiny paper bag. I wonder where she got that from. <laughs> I've never seen such a narrow paper bag. That I wonder if she tweaked it that way. Hmm, I'm gonna have to try to pick her brain. <laughs> if I find out anything, I'll share it with you guys. <laughs> Look at this beautiful window pocket. I just love the window pockets. They're just so nice to have in your your journals. And look at that. She that looks like she's done that um, tape technique with the ink. I've not tried it yet, but I've seen a lot of people working with that. And again, another beautiful tag and another gorgeous jo uh, journal card here, and more layering. And then here, look at this beautiful pocket she's done here. See, this this one I'm talking about, aren't those gorgeous? I love it. Another little um, notepad that she's made. Just beautiful. Nikki, thank you. Thank you so much. This is just a beautiful entry. Um, now, this is Nikki's. She does these uh, beautiful field note cards in her shop. And those, again, are just something that you use time and time again, or I do. I really find that these go with just about any project that I'm doing. So if you're interested in those, check her shop out. And I love she put her, her label there. Isn't that beautiful? Just beautiful. Nikki, thank you so much. Very, very nice entry. And I cannot wait to see it um, all coming together. Okay, guys, the next entry, and this is number 21, by the way, and this is from Angela Kerr, and you all know Angela. She's an amazing artist. Um, she wrote me a beautiful card. She has the most amazing stationery. Um, Angela, you do. Every time we you know, correspond. She's always got the most fantastic cards. And look at this bit of uh, 
trim that she's gifted me. And then this is absolutely beautiful. All this hand-torn fabric. She has beautiful fabric. I don't know where she sources it, but it is beautiful. Well, everything. Um, her butterflies, I mean, they're just, every time I see those butterflies, I know it's Angela. I don't even have to look at who the channel, it's like, oh, that's Angela. She's been busy. <laughs> and look at this. This is so, so pretty. She's got, um, this is a embossed, let's see here. She's got this clipped, and I think this belly band comes off. Hang on, let me, I don't want to mess anything up. She, this, she has everything so beautifully presented, but this is an embossed um, envelope. I want you guys to see, isn't that beautiful? Look at that, just gorgeous. And then she's got this all pinned to it. Just beautiful. Look at that. That is an old postcard. Wow. Beautiful. And then look at that. She makes beautiful things. Her stitching, look at that. Just perfect. That's beautiful. I love the way she had all that presented. I will put that back um, the way it was. Oh, her entry. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. She knows I like herbs, and um, I'm trying to get back into all that, but it's time, isn't it? So she's got beautiful stitching. Oh, the, the layering, the colors. I mean, it, look at that. Isn't that just amazing? The work that, that she uh, puts into her designs. And look at these. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that she said these were Amity Bloom. And they are gorgeous. Really gorgeous. I don't have this kit, but I have to say it is very tempting because those are beautiful. But those were tucked in there, and I love this, Angela. What a beautiful idea there. Again, my turquoise. i got to have that. I, I just love turquoise. I'm, I'm trying to find a beautiful turquoise ring, but every time I go to the flea market and antiques place, when they've got them, and I put them on, oh gosh, it just makes my hands look so manly. I don't know. They just seem to be getting bigger as I get older. Um, I, I blame Paul for it because when we were doing our lighting company, the work I was doing, I swear, I believe it made my hands get more muscular. <laughs> so it's his fault. I used to have nice hands. <laughs> um, isn't that a beautiful journal card? That, yeah, I'm, those are absolutely beautiful. But look, she's got this. So that's two pockets on that and all the stitching she does. Just beautiful detail. Beautiful. It's got a nice feel to it. And then over here, look at this. <clears throat> oh, God, it's just beautiful. Oh, I love that. And the tiny little butterflies. They're just so pretty. I love her work. Um, she knows I'm a big fan of hers. Look at the layering. I love that. So pretty, Angela. Another beautiful journal card. Again, all that stitching. And she does tutorials, guys. If you, you, oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Beautiful journal card. So she um, does a lot of tutorials. I will put her link to her channel. If you don't know about her, shame on you. <laughs> Because she is uh, very, very good at she, uh, teaching teaching everybody her little tricks and uh, ideas. She has some great ideas on for journal uh, ephemera, so check her out. Oh, sorry, guys, I'm in meltdown again. So here we are over here, and again, I love, love that heart dragonfly stamped. Fabric ruffle with beautiful old mother of pearl button there. Just just so much detail. And on the back here, she's done all kinds of uh, stenciling. I can feel gesso on that. Um, st lightly stamped. And then this is some other, um, it's like a shine that she's got in that. Beautiful journal card. Yeah, she's got some beautiful kits and things that she works with. Totally my colors. Look at that. 
That is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, look at those little seed seed beads. Aren't they beautiful? And that little tag. Oh, just precious. Beautiful, Angela. And then that's all in a little glassing bag there. That's just so sweet. And that's tucked in there. Look at that layering. Just beautiful. And then on the back here, again, she's got a lot of layers going on. All this has been stitched. Some lace under there. Beautiful old um, receipt that she's printed out. And she's aged that. And then some more journal cards. Beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. Really nice papers. Yeah, she has a beautiful choice of papers. Thank you so much, Angela. This is really kind of you. You didn't need to send the extras, but I, I, it, they will certainly be used, and I appreciate it so much. Okay, let me put this all back. Okay, guys, I've got one more to share with you. And this is coming from Canada. And this is Kathleen Sunday. Sundby. Sundby. You guys know Kathleen's channel. If you don't, I will put that in the description box below. Kathleen has a very distinctive style. And I, it's uh, one that really appeals to me. Um, it, it's another, she's another artist that when you see her, something come across, you immediately know it's her. Um, so she, Kathleen has sent this entry here, and she's got a beautiful image here, and she works a lot uh, mixed media, I would say. She uses a lot of interesting textures, and you know I, I really, that I'm drawn to anything that I can touch, and, and lots of layering with vintage laces and bits and scraps. Just totally, totally unique to uh, Kathleen. And she did send me a nice little note to go with that. So thank you so much for that, Kathleen. And then inside here, again, you can see old book page and then bits of her um, beautiful lace collection. She must have an amazing lace collection. And then again, another Canadian stamp, which I absolutely love. Love it, love it, love it. And lots of layering there. And then on the back here, she's got, um, this is the name of her shop, which is on Etsy, and she, whoops, I'm sorry, and she's also got a uh, YouTube channel, which I will put the YouTube channel in the link below. But look at that, isn't that beautiful, her collaging with the, the laces and flowers, and that's all tucked into a beautifully stamped glassine, and I like, I like the fact that she's kind of torn that off, and just beautiful. Thank you, Kathleen, for that. I appreciate it so much. It um, it finally arrived. I know she was getting kind of worried because she said she had mailed that sometime back, but I would imagine... Um, Sorry about that, guys. I ran out of time. I'm just yapping so much. But anyways, um, I did want to come back on here and say thank you so much for joining me today to see these beautiful entries. Um, I appreciate everybody who has um, participated in this. Uh, we've still got March before the deadline, so if you are interested in joining, as long as I've got the entry by the end of March, you will be entered into the drawing, which will be April 1st. So if you want to participate, just contact me, and, um, and I'll give you my address as to where to send it. You guys take care, and I will see you soon. Bye.